Robot Pond 153, a simple mechanical robot, designed by Dave F. Coates, a member of the Transville Mechanical Guild, described and illustrated in Isomech by Peter Matthews. This model is constructed entirely from standard mechanical parts. Came out in August 2004. Always fancy a bash at this one, so now I've got the chance for doing it. See what any problems I come across and see can I do any improvements as I go along. Off to the model. Here are the parts completed and we'll go through you with you each video of them. We'll start with support base with motor. Second we're going to go with rotating column complete. Third, grab support arm with grab and robot arm. That's what I'm going to do for you. What I've altered, here we go. Here's the support base with motor. On the original plans, I said use an M5. Underneath the M5, use two parts flat girder and a small plate. So I thought, well, I'll alter the motor. So I used a mechanical motor, a small mechanical gear motor as well, and I used a flange sector plate for the support of it. I think it's the right shape. See it goes in. Seems pretty good. Now, on the original plans here, it would have been a circular girder which is one of these so, and then you have to make up six of these with wheels on it put that in and then your circular, other circular girder goes on top like that that's what have been originally and then you put your rotating column on top of that so the motor parts as you can see you have to put together plus eventually rub down your paintwork eventually in time. So what I've done I've used a ball racer with a hook disc underneath it to support the ball racer and, and still the same original parts there the plants they worked out alright. So that's what I've altered let's go to the rotating colour section what I've done. Here is the rotating column section. Um, on your pulley wheel here, number 20A, mine was slightly bent, so it was catching the motor, so beware of your pulleys there, nice and straight when the, as they're spinning. It's the thing I've come across in that section. The front of it, turn it around, you had two different types of corner brackets. An old type, say, to a modern type supporting the girders which is okay so I'm going to alter that one to a modern one I think and the centre here originally was a crank so there it is put it in the centre and the axle rod goes in the centre with one bolt holding it so what I've done here you can see there which I've done is a face plate I'm using that down there four bolts all the way around which is then underneath which is supporting the rest of the ball racer plate see there that's all I've done straightforward nice gears a few washers in there that's about it for this section on to the next one grab and support arm um, section start with the grab which is here I've done here at the end of the grabs, I've put a kind of I call them little seat covers, it's a bit more grip. On the plans, it says to use axle rod number 16, but it's not long enough, so I used a 14A, 5.5 axle rod. On the plans again, it says to use string, which is connected to the belt crank, which then tiny belt string up, 
and engages with it 27A gear. Well, it did quite work well. So what I've done, I've used the cable. This time I said some sort of use for it. I've added onto it the bell crank, a number 45 spring with a collar to make the crank work up and down more flexible. Cable on, engages with the 27A gear, and off again, make it springier. So what does it do, that crank? Well, if I engage it with your 27 gear, turn the wheel here, it closes the grabs, back up again. Release the bell crank, pressure, and it'll turn the grabs around. That's what it'll do. Let's do that. Okay. And that is that section. I've altered a slight improvement onto the next stage. Final stage of the robot arm right side showing. On the plans, he says use number fives here at the top. Well, that's wrong, they were too short, so I've replaced them with number twos. I've altered the small wheel here to the back, originally it was here. So what I've done, I used a second cable, I had to cut this one down. I used a locking nut on it, at the end connects the other cable together. And the front I've altered, I'll just turn around here. On here I've used a double angle strip, number 48A. Originally, I'll show you this, was a 55, 12, and a 12B. Well, your axle rod went through that one, and the other axle ran through the other one with a slot. That axle rod was slipping a bit. So I've done that. Now the gears, originally that would have been on your right hand side gear, the 26C, well that was catching your 26 gear, so I've replaced it with a 26N gear, there's about 2mm gap in it now, so we won't catch it, So no problem I've come across, and that's about it on this stage, so let's put it together and show you working. There's the model now completed. Uh, I'm going to start with the motors 1 to 5. We'll start with motor number 1, the support base, which turns the robotic arm round 360 degrees. Number 2 motor is a rotating column, which goes up and down. In number 4 motor, grub supports arm which goes in and out. In number 3 motor, the grab which can spin it round for whatever you got on your grab, which will put a metal tube on it, demonstration. Now if we stop the grab for spinning round, Use your number 5 motor, which, in, which tightens up the cable, instead of using string on the, on the, motor itself, on the model itself. Use your number 3 motor again, to open the grabs. Close them again. And we'll stick it up. Bring it in. And all in all, that is the robotic arm. A wonderful model. Thanks Dave for your design. Appreciate it there. Enjoyable. Hope you enjoyed this video of the, of the robotic arm. Thank you for watching the video. Bye for now.